Hello viewers, welcome to ANSI's Tutor. In this video demonstration, we would observe a heat interaction between two pipes that are kept in insulation. There are two pipes which are placed inside an outer insulation pipe. And that pipe is kept inside the soil chamber. Hot water is flowing through one of the pipes and cold water in the second pipe. These pipes are separated by insulation. You need to find out the heat interaction between these two pipes through the insulation and the amount of heat released to the outside soil chamber. First, open the ANSI's workbench. Drag the fluid flow fluent into the project schematic space. Right-click on geometry and select new design modeler geometry. Go to units and change it to millimeters. Select the XY plane click on the Z axis to make the sketch normal to the screen. Click on the Sketching tab and select the rectangle. Put the dimension to the rectangle. Select the Constraints tab, select the Symmetry option, select the axis first, and then the two sides of the rectangle. These two sides would be symmetrical about the axis. Similarly do for the other two sides. Enter the dimensions. Click on Extrude option. Select the sketch and click on Apply. Change the operation to Frozen. Change the direction to symmetric to both directions. Enter the depth of extrusion, it would be 100 mm in both directions. Click on the generate. Click on XY plane and create a new sketch. Go to sketching toolbar and create a circle at the center of the sketch. Enter the dimension of the circle. Select the Add Frozen option. Extrude the circle symmetrically in both directions. Select the XY plane again and create a new sketch. Draw two circles on the Y axis. Enter the dimension of the circle.
Again draw two concentric circles inside the two circles. Enter the dimensions of the circle. Select the two circles and click on Extrude. Extrude in both directions. All these bodies are overlapping with each other, so we need to separate these using the Boolean operation. Right click and suppress the unnecessary bodies created as we can't delete these objects. Hold the control key and select all the required bodies right click and make it one part. Geometry is complete. Close the design modeler and open the meshing. Check the default mesh first, if it's having any error in geometry you can detect it from here. Click on mesh, go to details of the mesh, and turn on the adaptive meshing option. Increase the resolution to 5. Right click on mesh and select generate the mesh.
Select the boundary faces and give names to them. Select the volumes and name them. Once turn off the mesh and see all the given name selections. Check the mesh statistics. If you are using a student version of the software, make sure to keep the nodes within 512,000. Update the mesh and proceed with the solver setup. Select the double precision model and click on start. Go to models and turn on the energy equations. Select the laminar flow model. Go to Materials tab.
Click on the fluent database. Add the water liquid from the material list. Once again open the fluent material database and select solid. Add steel from the material list. Change the thermal conductivity. We would now add the material properties of insulation and soil, as these are not default materials we need to add their material properties manually. First, change the name and enter the material properties. Click on Change or Create. Do not overwrite the default material, so click on No. Enter the specific heat and thermal conductivity. Go to cell zone conditions and assign the materials to different zones. Go to Boundary Conditions and select the inlet. Enter inlet water flow velocity and inlet water temperature. Go to Solution Methods and select Green Gauss Cell Based Cell Discretization Method. Go to Monitors and select Residuals. Change the residual criteria to 10 power minus 6 and the criteria for energy to 10 power minus 15. Select Hybrid Initialization and click on Initialize. After the Hybrid Initialization, click on Run Calculation. Enter the number of iterations and click on Calculate. The solution gets converged at 214 iterations. The solution is complete. Now we need to check the results. Close the Fluent Solver and go to CFD Post Processing.
Go to Insert Menu and insert a reference plane at the center of the domain. Insert a new contour. Select Temperature as the variable. Select the new plane as the contour location. Save the contour image. Move the reference plane along the Z-axis to different points to observe the contour variations at different locations. To observe the temperature changes at a particular domain, select the domain in the available domain list. Insert a velocity streamline, select the two inlets to start the streamlines, and enter the NO of streamlines to be generated. Click on Apply. Now to observe the flow simulation, go to Quick Animation. Select the streamline, and click on the Play button to observe the flow. Insert a new plane on the IS plane to observe the temperature variations contour.
Save the contour image for future use. Check the temperature variations in the soil domain. With this let's conclude the demonstration. Hope you would like it. Please comment for any suggestions or feedback. Thank you.